If you were to hold a poll right now asking both American kids and adults what their favorite holidays are, they'll all agree on three. Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Halloween. As a matter of fact, a poll was conducted by Harris Interactive in 2011 that asked 2,462 adults what their favorite holidays were and all ranging from 18 to 34 gave the above three holidays almost unanimously. But why do people love Halloween so much? Halloween, or historically called All Hallows Eve, happens one day before All Hallows Day in some Christian countries. It brings in a time when people of old will dedicate their days to remembering the dead, especially the saints and martyrs. The reason why costumes were used was to mock the concept of death. Like Christmas, this is another festival of pagan origins, as it may have been derived from a Gaelic ritual called Samhain. In this festival, the people celebrated the end of the harvest season and marked the beginning of the dark times of the year. Some maintain that it is an all-Christian holiday, but whatever its origins are, Halloween is a fun holiday. Children and adults can both appreciate this holiday because, like Christmas, there are special traditions for each group of people. For children, the favorite pastime is to go around trick-or-treating while wearing costumes. This practice involves the children going from door to door yelling the phrase, trick-or-treat, and they'll be rewarded with candy. The most significant word here is trick, which means causing trouble unless a treat is given. The practice of trick-or-treating seems to have been derived from an old British and Irish custom where the poor would go from door to door singing songs for the dead in exchange for bread and cakes. This custom was called souling. The wearing of costumes has Celtic origins and the spirits of the dead were impersonated. Around the late 19th century to the early 20th century, these practices came to North America. It began to take off like wildfire and evolved into the trick-or-treating we have today. Candy is given out now, but in the old days, candied apples were given out because traditionally one was to abstain from meat eating on that day. However, since a few depraved people were placing razor blades and pins in the apples, people started giving out toffees and eventually wrapped candy instead. Today, Halloween has evolved beyond its Christian and pagan roots into a night of partying and indulging of sweets. There are other artifacts that have been carried over from old traditions. The jack-o'-lanterns, for example, were symbols that protected the household against evil spirits. The jack-o'-lantern is supposed to represent a soul that is trapped between heaven and hell. It was the turnip that used to be carved to represent the spirit, jack, but immigrants to North America started to use pumpkins because they were softer. Also, pumpkins would be ready for harvest around that time as well. Some say Halloween has become a softer tradition due to people going for costumes of celebrities and political figures instead of going as something that might depict the dead.